program is supposed for helping its uh, sana youths for uh, entire to do at least since my youth are from Uh, the Sports for Health is a program uh, run by AMREF, uh, basically to deliver change through sports. Specifically for the Sports for Health project, it's one that's implemented here in Dagoreti sub-county, as well as Embakasi East sub-county. And uh, our core mandate is uh, specifically to create awareness about SRHR for adolescent girls aged 10 to 19 as well as for the community at large, parents, community gatekeepers. The project itself was targeting 10 to 19, but realistically, we will always have the indirect beneficiaries, and those are the people within the communities, even young men and young boys within the same age bracket. Esports for health, Kwanza imesaidia sana. Hii time ya COVID imesaidia wasichana wengi sana cuz kulikuwa na shida mingi sana wasichana wadogo wamekuwa pregnant between kuanzia 15 years, 17 years wamekuwa young mothers wengi. But Esports for Health at least ni wa keep busy wamekuwa wakitrain taekwondo full time wanakuja hapa kutoka jioni paka 7 mazoezi so hiyo time yenye wangekuwa wange wakifanya vitu vibaya especially wasichana wanajiki busy na mazoezi uh, we try to deliver change uh, through edu sports whenever we are doing uh, competitions uh, we have uh, a team of qualified trained uh, peer champions whose mandate or their work is to do peer to peer talks uh, during competition uh, as a chv we used to mob to do mobilization but for the community dialogue, we involved uh, youths. After dialogues, to kona, through dialogues that to reach out to wengi, juno ya kuna lao tewa shule, wezi na tuna koma shule kufunza watu ni 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 ni. So wake kastori na sports, una pata kituka sato, una jua tuwe kujaku train ni 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 ni. So yuwa kujaku train, wakisha maliza kucheza ball. So through sports, tuna wa reach out, bado tuna bonga na on story na hizo drugs, vitu zetu lifunzwa. Sana sana tuseme, ikikuja ni pandi ya GBV, tuseme kwama kwa girl child, kuna vinyana pata skills sana za protect seme kama in terms of seme kama taekwondo hivyo challenge ilikuwa kubwa wengi wako na understand what is meant to help kabisa for community ajua uh, kiona stress atafanya ajua kiona depression atenda wapi referral linkages atenda wapi so at least during the dialogue walikuja ku understand nikiona mental health nikiona stress ndaenda wapi ndafanya aje uh, secondary we've been working hard uh, to hard with um, with the NMS and also the, uh, the youth friendly facilities whereby the, uh, the, the facilities they normally offer medics or like a medical camp so whenever we are doing sporting activities we, we can be able to bring SLHR services closer. The youth as you all know they, they really fear coming to the facility but after the project and doing so many activities from the community to the facility we have seen much improvement, especially in a youth resource center. We have even also started a mental health clinic. But I can tell you, it is the youths. The number of youths are higher than the normal population. Another key achievement for me would be the sports. Sports existed within the communities. What we did was just capacity build a few people with our partnerships with sports federations. So we had more coaches, uh, we provided more equipment, and we regularized a lot of the competitions. So it was an amazing experience for both the young people in the community, for parents, and for the CHVs. Within the Dagoretti South sub-county, uh, we had less than 10 girls teams. We only had like three uh, Taekwondo teams. Uh, for young girls through the birth of the Sports for Health program and also uh, by being able to relate the Sports for Health and services like SLHR, we were able to uh, to see the growth of the teams in terms of uh, uh, new teams uh, being formed, uh, training for the coaches and for example when uh, we were starting the program we conducted a training of uh, amateur coaches uh, both um, taekwondo, volleyball and uh, football. One of the challenges, kuna ile limitation ambayo ilikuwa nayo 
kwa sababu ulikuwa unapata hii program ilikuwa ina ina specify age na numbers then uh, ilikuwa na kwa, yani ile muda in terms of sustainability um, the project in general was very deliberate in the partnerships that it had as i mentioned we were with the nairobi metropolitan services the sports council we worked very closely with the community to identify specific teams that were already within the community and expanded their capacity and scope then as the project phases out they remain with the skills in terms of the technical skills provided by the coaching staff uh, they remain with the equipment and the general idea of what it is a project was trying to achieve we also advocate for strengthening of linkages including meeting some of these for example youth enterprise fund and linking the groups within the communities the young people so on and so forth with these entities so that also helps in the sustainability of the sports initiatives girl child has been focused in some way i wish there would have been an extension to the program that also involved the boy child because both of these people will work hand in hand in impacting the society and sex education doesn't stop pia watu hii waje pia tuone mchango yao anything itokea waulizwe mtakaje waje pia utapata ukipata maoni yao kinaenda kwa strong yeah.